Well, hello, this is Mike from Music City. Boy, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I'm back. Sorry for the delay. I just had a lot of stuff going on, but here we are with uh, my latest installment of what I call Great Forgotten Records. And again, I say it every time, I'll say it again. Maybe you didn't forget them. I didn't forget them either, but they're great records that just, I think, deserve more recognition than they have. And I want to make sure you know about them. Uh, younger folks too, you know, the record we're looking to look at today is 18 years old. Maybe you missed it. I want you to know about it. Uh, today we're going to look at the uh, fourth record from one of my favorite singer-songwriters, Josh Rouse, and that's his 2003 album, 1972. Now, Josh is originally from Nebraska. His first record in uh, 1998 was called Dressed Up Like Nebraska, and uh, this is just, like I said, his fourth record. Uh, Josh moved here to Nashville, uh, did a lot of great stuff here. Uh, then he went to, I think he left, went to, lived in Brooklyn for a while, but uh, lived in Spain uh, for quite some time. And last I heard, he was back here in Nashville, and I saw he is going out on tour again. Uh, not doing any hometown shows just yet, but uh, anyway, hopefully you get to see him. Hopefully you know Josh Rouse. Just a, just a great singer-songwriter. Uh, he leans towards my favorite type of sounds, you know, pop sounds. And I think, you know, Josh has just worked with some of my favorite musicians in Nashville on these records, too. And that's what kind of make them, make them special. A lot of folks that I, I, I run into every now and then. Uh, so that's kind of neat for me, too. But uh, 1972, uh, you know, it, in a way, it's a little bit of a throwback to those days. Uh, and let's, let's start off by listening to something. And this is a song, the title track, 1972, and you'll even hear he, uh, we play it that far. He uh, name checks uh, Carol King, uh, uh, Carol King's song, It's Too Late in here, very, very much in the, in, in the style of the 70s singer-songwriter. So here we go, 1972. She was feeling 1972 Moving to a Carol King tune is it too late, baby? Is it too late? That boy was always up to no good Josh is such a great writer and beautiful voice. I just, I just love his smooth, smooth voice. And, and you know, uh, you got to agree that song was brilliantly produced. And the credit goes to Mr. Brad Jones, uh, recorded here in his Alex the Great studio. Uh, Brad is just, you know, when it comes to making pretty, pretty elegant pop music, I, there's nobody better than Brad Jones. He's, you know, Jill Sobuel, uh, Silver Sea, no, not Silver Sea. <laughs> Uh, uh, who am I trying to think of? Uh, Swan Dive. Um, you know, boy, he would be great with the Silver Seas, wouldn't he? But, um, you know, just countless uh, records that, that uh, Brad has done here. And he also plays bass uh, on, on the record here, too. Now, okay, so that's a little bit of on the softer side. Now, what's really neat on this record, there's two really good, uh, you know, get up and get after it kind of songs on here that are in Josh's live set today because they're just so much fun to hear. Um, let's 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 listen to uh, the great love vibration, which is a real fun one. I think that's Brad playing bass on this one. You'll hear the bass kick in here in a minute. Someone Say your 
another one that I, I just love the, the, the beat on. Uh, and uh, bass riff on this one is from James Hags Haggerty, a good friend of mine. And uh, this is called uh, Comeback, uh, parentheses, Light Therapy. Probably one of the only songs ever to have the word serotonin in it. And there's Hags getting down on his groove. let you taste one more um one of i man I, this is a song that i was just addicted to for a long time and i couldn't stop listening to it and you know and i don't know for whatever reason it to me it has sort of a tom waits feel more i think in the in the setting than than in any uh you know of, of the sound and the um, but you know sort of the emotion and the feel i don't know has, has like i said i've heard always associated with a tom waits feel oh, people think i'm crazy but anyway, it's a song called Rise. It closes the record. Just a beautiful song. Maybe it's the Brooklyn reference. Think I'm gonna pass out. Think I just laid down right here. Someone turn the light out. I'll cover myself with a jacket. I'll still catch the last ride on the Brooklyn train. Thirty years old, I know this train. So when I was on the landline, hoping you would find time for me, showed up at your door. It was a scene I wish to show you would be free. Should have caught a rail on Brooklyn train. Thirty years old, I know this check. Yeah. And I'll rise to greet you in the morning. Oh, yes, do I love that song. Um, so there's four from Josh Rouse's 1972. Now, this is the uh, original Ryko CD, and I don't know if you can find it with or without, but it did also come with a bonus DVD that had, I think it had a couple of live clips on it, and I know it, I know there was an interview on there with Brad Jones, the producer. But around the same time, uh, I guess a year later, this DVD came out, and boy, I'll tell you something, if you like the sounds that you hear on this... Uh, this is a complete concert, New Year's Eve, um, I'm not sure, I guess probably 2003, New Year's Eve 2003 at the Exit Inn, and he's got that incredible band with him of rhythm sections, Mark Pisapia uh, on drums and Hags on uh, bass, James Haggerty. Uh, keyboards with, uh, uh, was a guy named Kurt Perkins, just a fantastic uh, local musician, and also Daniel Tashin uh, of Silver Seas fame. Uh, plays uh, guitar, and I think he's also playing a Mellotron, but 
man, I tell you, you put this on and you hear these, uh, you, you hear love vibration and, and light therapy, man, you're, you're, you're rocking away. But again, and, and um, check out Josh if you don't know him. I, I just think the world of him as an artist. Uh, he's got a fairly extensive catalog out and everything in it is just, is just great. So, hey, that's, uh, we went on a little longer than I went today. I played those songs kind of long, didn't I? But, but hey, thanks for your support. We'll do more of these. I, I like su the suggestions that I get from time to time. I'm going to go back to ranking some artists, ranking some years, visiting some record stores, uh, doing all the crazy things that we do. But hey, uh, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you, if you, if you haven't done so already. And uh, the Micro Music City, we'll see you again.